This year, we did some really big upgrades on our growing room so that we were growing with low end, medium range, and high end grow lights. And we have been running an experiment to see which one grows better seedlings. And the answer is, it depends. Last year, our original growing system was using just these cheap fluorescent shop lights. These are nothing fancy. We got a ton of them, old, used, and we grew seedlings last year with great success using them. The problem is they produce a ton of heat. They have a huge electrical draw compared to anything LED. And so we really wanted to upgrade our system. We were worried about how much energy these use. And we also ran into issues as things warmed up with our growing room getting just too warm because of the heat produced from these lights. This year for our upgrade, we bought a bunch of these uh, T5 strip lights and then we bought LED light bulbs to go inside of them. So that brought our energy consumption way down. We also had a Mars Hydro full spectrum LED grow light bar given to us. And so this is, this is kind of the top of the line for grow lights. The full spectrum means that you can grow stuff that doesn't only just need greens. You can also grow things that would fruit like, you know, full grown tomato or pepper plant. And that is light that will do that. All these lights have a different price point. The, the LED strip light was pretty reasonable for us. Uh, it came in at about $80 Canadian. The shop lights, like I said, we probably could have gotten them for free. And then the Mars Hydro light is uh, $260 American. I am very frugal. <laughs> so obviously for me, my question is, is it worth the money to get the more expensive light? If you can grow good seedlings for free, what, what are you getting for your extra money? The first thing I did to get a feel for the different lights is I downloaded a light meter app on my phone and I actually took a reading of how much light each of these lights were putting out. And it was very, very different between the lights. The shop lights put out a decent amount of light directly underneath it, but as soon as I start to move the light meter away, it very, very quickly drops down to almost nothing. So if I was to compare it on my actual seedlings, you know, the, the very edge there on a single is getting enough to grow, because you need to hit at least 150 according to, uh, according to some light meters, but you know, very, very quickly I move away and there's almost no light right away on the T5 LED light, there is a huge difference. It's already sitting at about three times higher than the, the shop lights. And as I move away from the light bar, it keeps, keeps the light for, for quite, quite a while. I can get quite a distance away from it and still be getting decent numbers. So that means that, you know, directly underneath the light. There's lots of light and there's also a good amount of light, even, even on the very edge of my trays. I knew as soon as I plugged in the Mars Hydro light that it was gonna be ridiculous because it literally burned my eyeballs out. I have to turn this light off when I'm in this room because if I look up at it, I'm, I'm sure I'm giving myself eye damage, it's so bright. It's hard to even record a reading because this light has so much glare that even my cell phone, it's hard to hard to get a shot of it where you can read it, but you can see the the reading for the amount of light coming off this light is way higher than the LED. And even getting away from the light, it it 
it is, it's huge numbers. The amount of distance that you can go away from this light and still get, you know, kind of acceptable ranges for growing is, is really, really high. This, this light, I have it probably about, about a foot above the tray and, you know, this, this light would probably do better at a higher height. Now, as fun as it was to play with the light meter, I don't actually care at all what the light meter said because it's it's just a number that tells me absolutely nothing about how these lights will actually grow seedlings. Before I could say how well these lights grew seedlings, I had to actually grow some seedlings <laughs> to give it a real world test. And I have some results. The shop lights grow seedlings, no problem. They, they grow perfectly fine seedlings. I haven't had issues with the seedlings getting leggy, um, but I do keep the lights on 24 hours a day with the shop lights, and I think that is the reason why they're getting enough light. I do like the heat that comes off of the shop lights for growing my tomatoes and peppers because I use the heat from the shop lights to function as a heat mat. Basically, you know, this tray sitting on top of the lights is taking the heat into it and it's allowing my tomatoes and peppers that need that heat to germinate to get the heat without the heat mat. So I do like the use of the heat for that reason and the lights grow just fine. If this is all you can have, these will work great for you. We grew thousands of seedlings last year using these lights. We had zero problems. I have a very strange problem happening right now with my nicer lights. And what's going on is things are growing too fast. I started everything based on the numbers that I had for my shop lights. With the extra light that I'm now growing with, things grew twice as fast as they did last year. That right there tells me what a difference these lights did. This is a perfect example of the difference between the LED and the shop light. This half of the tray has been grown underneath the LED, this half has been grown underneath the shop light, and I think you can probably see exactly where the LED runs because my light, my my seedlings have gotten so tall that the light is now burning where where they're touching because they're getting too much light. But the difference is that this side is way bigger. This side is a darker, healthier color, other than the sunburnt <laughs> section whereas this side the seedlings are smaller they're lighter in color obviously the shop light still grew fine seedlings but the led grew faster deeper colored seedlings in the same amount of time and now everything's chaos they all need to be potted up because they grow grow too fast they grow too fast with these leds for another comparison, this is grown with the Mars Hydro light. The color on this is super dark. It's almost getting like a purpley tone because it uh, because of how much light it's getting. These seedlings are also um, they're shorter, they're they're stronger, like big thick stems. This this is growing a much nicer seedling, but still, yet again, same problem. They're growing so fast. The, the good light means that all of these seedlings are growing way faster than I timed them for, which is causing problems for me, only because I didn't know. Here's another one of my varieties that's being grown under the Mars Hydro, and with this, yet again, you can see this strip in the middle. This is where the light is sitting over top of it. The seedlings have grown so big, so fast, that now they're getting sunburned from these indoor grow lights. These need to get potted up. <laughs> they need to get outside. My tomatoes are really exaggerating how much a difference 
the the good lights and the low lights are are making um they're growing crazy fast but these peppers these peppers are also just insane how quick they're growing for us this year um last year this is what my peppers looked like after growing them for almost two and a half months this was like what they looked like when i sold them out in may and here they are desperately needing to get potted up very happy some of the peppers in this tray are even starting to put on flowers it the extra light is making a huge difference for how my seedlings are growing i'm having issues this year because my seedlings are growing so fast most of these seedlings are about four weeks old with these new lights i now know i only need two weeks before my my seedlings are ready to get potted on that means that i need to use less energy because i start my seedlings you know half half as early less work means all the work of coming out and having to deal with these seedlings every day that just got cut in half the, the difference that these lights are making is really, really surprising to me. I had, I had no expectation that it was gonna be this much of a difference. If all you can afford are cheap fluorescent lights, they work great, they, they're, worth, they're worth getting. But if you can spend a little bit of extra money to get that mid-range, to get into those, those LEDs, it, it makes a huge difference and I'm super, super excited to have the Mars Hydro full spectrum light bar to continue to experiment with because I'm now seeing what I can do inside for seedlings with it. I'm really excited to see what I can do inside over the winter for actual, actual growing with it. A ton of those peppers that I have I can bring them in, I can grow them year round. I'm really excited to see how much, how much I can get growing with that one specific light. So the answer is to, if, if it's worth it, uh, yeah, I, I would say standing here, having started growing with these nicer lights, the extra money is, is worth it, um, but you don't need to spend the money. You can still grow seedlings, even with the cheapest options there are. Down in the description of the video, I'll share some links for the resources to the different lights that we have here, give you some options for if you're shopping for lights yourself. This week, we are potting up everything in here, <laughs> desperately, frantically, because it's all growing so fast. So if you would like to see what happens with these plants, make sure to keep following along, and you will get to see them potted up outside harvested and even dead because <laughs> that's the cycle <laughs> okay i'll see you guys next time